Welcome back to the edgiest show on YouTube, my babies, where I have the same sense of humor I did in seventh grade, and you can laugh at it or you can leave. Remember to leave a like if you like the video, or if you don't like it, also leave a like. Fuck you, it's my channel. I make the rules. Leave a like if you are depressed. Alright, let's jump in here. Today's video is downright weird. Seriously, the other ones I've reviewed so far have had elements that make you uncomfortable. I mean, all porn does. But those still got me to where I needed to go. This one was 100% uncomfortable through and through. What am I talking about? Well, today's video is from a little-known series called Girls Gone Gyno. The title of this individual video is Alexa Rydell's College Freshman Physical with Dr. Tampa. Right out the gate, if a guy is named after a city where people go to either buy meth or to get drunk and show their tits to a camera for a plastic necklace, maybe don't let that guy finger you medically. I'm getting ahead of myself, though. Basically, the premise of this video is that we, the viewers, are watching a girl's exam at the gyno. I know that might not sound at all weird, but there's nothing sexy about a doctor's exam. The doctor's office is a horrible, horrible place! I know it sounds good in theory because it's like naughty or whatever, but it's like seeing a French movie where their tits are out. Sounds great, until they lift their arms and you see the rumble in the jungle they're rocking, and you realize maybe some sexual repression is actually a good thing. Seeing inherently sexual things in a non-sexual way just feels wrong. See, the problem is that this video isn't some scenario where he's like, all right, I'm gonna give you your pap smear now. Oh, oops, that's not a medical device I just put in you. That's my penis. Guess I'll finish the job now that I started it. Obviously, that's what you're expecting with something like this. I was expecting that basically up until the video ended and I realized it was over. But no, it's literally just a fake exam. There is absolutely nothing erotic about it. Well, there's like one 10 second scene that you could argue is erotic, which honestly, having just that is worse than nothing. The video starts with an anti-piracy warning from the FBI, which made me feel like I was watching a movie on VHS. Putting an anti-piracy warning before a video this unarousing is like if I started carrying a rape whistle. It's just not a major risk if you look like me. Then it has a disclaimer about how all actors consented to be here, and says, quote, Dr. Tampa and staff encourage you to never engage in unconsenting actions, which is pretty soft language to use toward rape. Personally, I take the stronger stance of don't rape, full stop. And uh, as for rapes, well, rapes are bad. You shouldn't do rapes. Okay. Then it informs us that everything depicted as fictional, which usually in every other porn ever would be unnecessary. But honestly, this video is so weird. I would have wondered had it not said that. The video starts with a cute looking girl, conservatively dressed for a porno, just wandering around a doctor's office. She's messing with the tools like she's being sneaky while she waits for Dr. Florida Keys. It's honestly weirdly relatable. The camera angle creates a very hidden cam kind of feel. They're up above showing the whole office at once. Makes you feel like you really are about to watch an exam. It's a super creepy vibe. Cut to her talking to her doctor. Oh yeah, my name is Bob Kelso and I like whores telling him she took some Vicodin for a gallbladder issue, but knowing who gets into porn, it sure takes some gall to tell that lie. He asks if she smokes. She says, yeah, and seems embarrassed to admit she smokes weed. So he tells her, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Like he's goddamn Tommy Chong. Again, not inspiring confidence as a doctor. Then it cuts to her on her back, with him checking her boobies for lumps and discharge, which is enough to get anyone rock hard. I personally look at tit ooze porn all the time. Nothing better than when your girl's udders start leaking. Next is her in stirrups, with him gazing into her abyss, trying to find moles or cysts, and me trying to find my dick, which is at this point recessed into my body. Thanks. I don't have anything to rub. <laughs> well, get in line. Uh, then it cuts to him with his hand under her hospital gown, and her with a look of genuine discomfort on her face. Maybe we're getting kinky now? Maybe the porn has decided to start being a porn? He says, quote, I'm sorry, my man is clearly not cut out to be a dom. And he tells her there is definitely going to be a little discomfort. I don't usually like rough stuff, but at least maybe this means it's going to be an actual porno. But then, nope. The video reveals he's just inserting some tool in her, and they start talking about the titillating topic of endometriosis. Apparently, she'll be lucky if she doesn't have it. I came to this video to come to this video, but instead I'm learning biology I didn't need to know about. Cut to her in the shower. Now we're maybe getting somewhere? We're four minutes into the video now with exactly zero sexual tension built, but hey, gotta start somewhere. 
She cleans out her lady bits. You need to clean them and really scrub the clams. So once you give it a good scrub, give the clams a quick soak and add a good amount of salt. If these clams sit for about two hours, you'll see that a lot of the silt and sand inside gets hurt. So my clams, they've been sitting in the refrigerator for about two hours. Clams like this should stay for a few days in the refrigerator, depending on how fresh they are. So there you go. Enjoy, guys. And then it cuts again to her in stirrups. He's putting her feet in leather tassels, like locking them down. He tells her to slide on down and put her feet all the way in. Again, it seems like we're getting kinky, but he says everything in the most Ned Flanders voice possible, making it clear nothing interesting is about to happen. However, what happens next is literally the one 10 to 15 second clip of the video that could be considered pornographic. And it's done in such a cold medical way that it's still hard to call it that. Basically, he lifts the table with her strapped in legs, and while wearing full medical gear, takes a Hitachi wand and massages her magic bean, and then gives her two in the pink to check for who the fuck knows what. I guess he's one of those doctors from the 50s who used to get bored housewives off. He lets her change back into her clothes and tells her, quote, it was a pleasure, and then leaves. Personally, if I was a chick, I would definitely not want my gyno describing the exam as a pleasure. What are you hiding under those robes, you creepy white coat? And that's sort of the end of the video. The video's 10 minutes long, and that was only six of it, but the second half of the video is just the producer who played the doctor interviewing the girl about the video. He has the most suburban dad vibe for a porn producer. It's really strange. For example, his dog walks in and he reacts like this. Oh, look. He says, you guys are done! You guys are done! I can come in here now! Yes, we do not film bestiality, but he is a beast, and this is reality. He comes across as a super nice dude, I guess. I thought the nice guy act was to play the gyno, but honestly this guy seems genuine, which makes him frankly creepier. I always assume super nice people are secretly banging corpses. 50 bucks gets you 10 minutes alone with the bodies. I don't judge you guys, it's cool. I like yogurt up my ass and a popsicle stick in my mouth. Anyway, he asked the girl how she felt about the scene and she says she liked it. It was very realistic, almost like being at the doctors, she says. To me, that makes no goddamn sense. I wouldn't think any woman goes to the doctor and gets horny. I dread going to the doctor, and my doctor has never once tried to shove tubes in my genitals. Hi, I'm Randy Golden from Medical Technologies of George, and I'm here today to introduce everybody to our new uncoated intermittent catheters. As she's talking about how much she loved it, he hugs her out of nowhere and says, You're awesome. She's really cool. It's so strange seeing a porn producer have such nice guy energy. Like, it's good to know that he's probably treating his actress as well. But had I been able to choke the chicken to this video, I doubt I'd have wanted to watch Mr. Rogers talk about his upcoming pornos afterwards. I don't know, man. This was just a weird one. Outside of how nice the producer seemed and how cute the girl was, I have pretty much nothing positive to say. Oh, other than the dog that shows up afterwards. That was pretty cool. I don't know why more pornos don't have dogs in them. We are in the house and ready to party! Hey, handsome. Hello, baby. Total mystery, that one. The video definitely felt like watching a realistic gyno exam, which I mean, if that's what you're into, I'm sure you'll love it. It's definitely not what I'm into. I want to think of women bodies as pristine objects for my satisfaction, not human bodies that need checkups and have discharge and shit. Don't humanize the porn stars. Honestly, this feels like it's a video for the kind of guy who wants to cut holes in women's restrooms to watch them shit and piss. Normal people pretend women's buttholes are only for staring into while you hit it from behind and quietly compare it to your exes. Not for them to poo out of. <laughs> but these weirdos actually like watching them poo. That kind of guy would want to watch a vagina be looked at like how you'd look at a dead frog in 7th grade biology. I'd say unless you're one of those weirdos, this is a video worth missing. That said, something I did get out of this video is curiosity. Now I want to see an actual gyno exam for a real porn star. It would be the doctor lifting up the gown and immediately going, Oh God, what have you done? That'd be pretty fun to watch, honestly. This was not that, however, so it gets one stirrup out of five. Strong wouldn't recommend. But hey, thanks for watching, fellas. If you stayed this far, you've got solid taste in YouTube videos. Maybe check out some of my other work. Or don't. Get off YouTube and do something better with your day. Either way, I wish you the best, bitch.